Yeah, let's go down through that, man. Shout out Boss. XO. Boss. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gon' talk, we gon' have fun. We be on fire, we be lit lit. It's a unique hustle, big, big, big shit. Big shit, big shit, big shit. It's a unique hustle, nigga, big shit. Big shit, big shit, big shit. Name another podcast like this. Who gon' bring it to the table? Boss Talk. Who your girlfriend favorite? Boss Talk. We gon' do it how you want it. Boss Talk. Yeah, everybody on it. Boss Talk. It's a unique hustle. Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique hustle. It's your boy ECEO, and I'm here with the lovely, amazing, official Miss Jamaica. What's going on? Nothing, nothing. You know my dad? Man, you know this guy right here. You know what? I'm going to tell you something. This guy right here, man, <laughs> I had to look back. Man, this nigga here, man, I'm, you know what, man? I thought I had to. I thought we had lost. I really did. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I seen all these other niggas, and they was lyrically inclined in all these other places, man. And I thought we had lost. I really did. Yeah. No, no. <laughs> Check it, man. T boy in the building. Man, what's going on? Hey, man, 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 thank, thank you for man. coming on the show, one, man. One, one. Man, you hey, you a breath of fresh air, brother. Man, I appreciate that, dog. Man, I ain't gonna lie, bro. I'm excited. You man, know what I'm saying? Fan of, big fan of this platform. So I'm man, happy to be here. Yeah, yeah. Man, hold up, man. You so you been watching Boss Talk? Absolutely. Say, bro, it's hard not to, man. This thing on fire. Can't miss y'all, man. Yeah. What's, can't the first, miss y'all. what's the first interview you saw? Of course, of course my little brother from the hometown, uh, Hot boy West. Ooh, we turned that nigga up, did we? My nigga, but did man. I turn that nigga up? Absolutely. Did I, what? Yo, did I what, do that? Get her to talk that talk, man. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was that. That's how I got caught on. But after that, man, y'all took off and took it to a whole other level. Man, so, yeah. Thank you so much, 100% man. Of fans subscribed on YouTube and all. See that? Yeah. And on Instagram? Instagram too. And on Facebook? Let's and on get Facebook it. Too. Awesome. Yeah, man, the board. Timo is one of them special guys, man. He's been seen on Sway in the Morning. This dude has been on all type of multiple platforms. I think he's on a few games, all kind of stuff when I start looking into mm -hmm. it and researching, man. He's not your regular guy, man. This guy really got some accolades. Stop playing, man. Y'all, when people come on Boss Talk, y'all got to. Stand at attention around this well, thing, man. But he's moving, but he moving well, in silence. I like that because a lot of people don't know you. Yeah. But you make an impact. Yeah, one hundred percent. I always move like that, kind of just behind the scenes doing my thing. I like the money more than the the hype. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Me, man. I okay. Need that I know that's right. Boss talk. Shit. Hey, what a boss's talk, man. So I want to know a little bit about you, and so does our fans because we don't know you. Okay. So Timo, I need to know a Timo before you were Timo. Yeah. Growing up, so were you always born and raised in um, Waco? Waco, Texas, born and raised, north side, same side as this hot boy was. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, north Waco, Texas. That's and you've boy. always wanted to do music? Absolutely not. Ah. Uh, nah. So what I, did you want to do as a I, kid? I, I was a hooper growing up. I mean, even all the way up to college. I played. Were you good? Yeah, yeah, I was cold. You got a scholarship? Yeah, I went to Houston, Tennessee University. Yeah, did Austin, you finish? Texas. Nah, hell no. Nah. <laughs> Why? I, I started rapping. <laughs> oh, damn. Yeah, nah, but uh, growing up, I ain't, I mean, where we from? Everybody rap, you know what I'm saying? That's just a natural thing. It's just like breathing. Like everybody just cutting up rapping. So that's what I did. Like with my niggas and shit, we was just rapping. Like I wasn't the rapper. I had homeboys that was rappers. I was the basketball player. So did they, any of them at that time when you were young and you used to just, you know, shoot a breeze, did they ever tell you that you were good, like you really need to I mean, do this? People, my, my shit might have stood out a little more, but um, I only had like a couple homeboys. Like, man, you need to rap with us. Um, but I was like, nah, I'm on my hoop shit. Y'all niggas is the rappers. I was just, you know, I played with it. I was for fun. So what happened with basketball? Why you didn't, why you changed it I'm, to rap? I'm, I'm only 5'10". I wasn't going to no NBA. So? Uh, yeah, it's plus, called plus, a thing plus, called plus, guard, point guard? Nah, Waco Tron took that nigga to the hoop. I'll tell you what really he happened. He didn't. I'm not going to tell you the real <laughs> truth. Didn't. I'm boss talk one-on-one. -on -one. Waco Tron took hey, that nigga to the hoop, that's, man. That's my nigga. That's my little brother. <laughs> he know what the fuck going on with the basketball <laughs> shit. He'll tell you, he'll argue me, but that nigga know what the fuck going on. <laughs> nah, I mean, um, actually, the way I started all the way, like, just taking it serious was uh, in college. We had, like, a big-ass cypher on campus one day. Just people from Detroit, Chicago, and Philly, and New York. And uh, we was just all out there rapping. It was, like, 100-plus people. And I started rapping, and everybody went crazy. And it was like, nigga, you're not going to the league, but you could, mm. you could go to the league and rapping. So mm. you need to do that. So that's when I started, like, 
man, maybe I need to start taking it serious. No, wait so a minute, wait a minute, wait. They gotta go back. You say that was Philly niggas out there. Yeah, mm-hmm. that Detroit. was New York these niggas out yeah. there. That was Detroit niggas out there. Yeah. And the hardest lyricists in Texas ate them niggas. I, I wasn't there at the time, but, but yeah. don't matter, nigga. <laughs> don't matter, we won, nigga. Yeah, 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 we, yeah, yeah. I, I, I killed them niggas, but yeah, they was like, man, you need to, you might want to. Take that rapping shit serious, bro. You got something different. That's live. So they put it in my head that, man, maybe I need to just go ahead. That's a gift. So, but, okay, so were you living at home with your mom and dad at the time? No, I was in college. I was on campus. No, no, yeah, no. I'm camp- talking growing up. Sorry. Growing up. Were you were you raised with your mom and dad? Yeah, my mother raised me. Yeah. Your mother yeah, raised single, you? single mother. Yeah. So single mom working hard raising you. Yeah. And you picked up the phone and said, Mama, I'm going to drop out of college. <laughs> nah, so. That's the part I was trying to get I, to. I, I, I've been grown for a long time. I, tell you, I, I kind of been on my own since 17. So I always made my own decisions kind of since a, since a young adult. But, um, you know, my mom, she was she, she a church lady. She not into all the rap music and all that type of mm-hmm. shit. I wasn't even allowed to listen to rap music when I was little. Mm-hmm. My uncles is how I, I got fed. They, yeah, they, they all goons. So I, I got rap music through them. Okay. Um, I ain't, I don't even think I told her I was trying because even when I started doing it like taking it serious I still wasn't taking it serious that makes sense like mm-hmm. oh, I'm gonna try to rap but I really wasn't putting my my oh, best foot forward with it so um, I ain't come to her with it until I almost started making money from it she wasn't trying to hear none of that and even yeah because right. even when you're making money from it some parents still like, look at it like that yeah even the, still now like right. she, she was like that's cool I'd be like God damn no matter nah, she, she don't yeah, understand she, that algorithm yeah she she all about. <laughs> Business, like she, you know, she she a real focused lady, super smart lady. So, so where was dad? Uh jail, in and out of jail. He, I, I recently, I didn't find out I had siblings, other siblings besides my sister on my mom's side till I was twenty five. Mm. Yeah. So. so, did you know about your dad when you were younger, growing up? Or I mean, you didn't I, even I know? vaguely remember him. He left when I was like four. Does he live in Waco too? Nah, he was moved out of state somewhere. Oh, so they didn't. Yeah, so I, I didn't get contact with him from four until I was like 25. So you hear. spoke to him yeah, at 25? Yeah, recently, yeah, when I was 25, I had my daughter. Did you reach out to him? No. Nah. He reached out to you? Yeah. How did he find you? Facebook. Huh. Yeah. And how did that How did that conversation go? How did that feel when you looked at your Facebook and you like... You it saw, is nigga go. Yeah, you saw... No, nah, I wouldn't like that at all. I you? mean... Uh, Cause you knew who he was, so when you saw his name and picture, yeah, you I know, knew. like I knew his name. I knew, you know, I kind of. So you knew, knew that was your like. dad. Yeah, um, I got a kid now, so, um, you know, I am an active father. I am in my daughter's life, but, you know, I got homeboys and they circumstances. Some of them don't allow them to be in their kid's life, or they might be going through something and they don't want to put project that on their kid. So you know, you never know what a person going through and what they thinking of, or why they might have dipped out of. You know, I'm not making no excuse. My mama held it down, so you know, all praises and salute to her. But no, I ain't quit. I wasn't mad at her. So you did know. you ask him why? No, I didn't. I, I had I got five uncles that you know I had to look up to, and they you know they raised me. So I had a, I had male figures in my life. See, I'm just nosy. I'd be like, why nah, did you leave? No, no, nah, nah, I mean. What happened? I'm like, just tell me that one time and we don't have to ever talk about it again. I ain't gonna lie to you. you Antoine Fish. <laughs> the, the, I just want to know. You no know, reason that, wouldn't, have, wouldn't have made up for none of the time. The time, time you can't never get that back. True. You know what I mean? So yeah, whatever true. your reason was, you just missed out on a dope guy. I'm grown now. So. Yeah, how did how did you get into the like the the music? Like, is somebody in your family into music like that? I mean, we are music lovers. Okay. Like, even though I said my mom in the church, so I had a a big gospel background like we grew up listening to that and then when I was with my uncles I was listening to the UGKs and the you know all the old Texas music you know oh, really? so you see say that again uh, UGKs UGK. y'all better understand I what's mean, going even on even outside of Texas no I worry about no singing that nigga's so a, he's, a lyr- he's the best lyricist in Texas I can hold a note you can hold a I note I can hold a note okay I cannot sing okay but just check it yeah, yeah. yeah you always check not a choir boy yeah 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 <laughs> But I've been in choirs, boy. Yeah, they, yeah I got boys. Look, hey, 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 now, yeah, hey, nigga, I'm gonna stop playing yeah, with me. Had to hit with I had to go to you. Yeah. Like yeah. Like yeah. This, yeah. Sometimes you gotta give them a, a quick one. Just a quick one. I already know just you the king. Know right there. Yeah, I just wanna yeah. let her know. Yeah, yeah, I will bar for bar. You seen me <laughs> over there? You seen what I do? I got, I got, I got bars. Don't play with it. Yeah, I'm here with the man now. Don't play well, with it. A little him. bit of uh, cleaning up and coaching. That's Next it. Next thing you know, I'm at. Uh, but the, uh, he ready? Yeah, it's up. <laughs> <laughs> no, but um. So how did you end up linking with uh Sway? Uh, uh, you know, how did that your whole relationship even start? So um. Probably back in 2017, South by Southwest. Okay. You know, Sway, I always come down and, and you know, they host their show. And, uh, 
mutual friends I had from my college days, you know, they still in the Austin area. And I was like, hey, Sway gonna be here. So I went and met them, rap for them, and we just done built that relationship from there. Just just networking, man, putting myself in the right place at the right time. What do you what what are some of the things like like over the years did you 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 know confide in him on any of the business moves sometime? Like, man, what do you think about this? Nah, or, man. It didn't get that heavy. I actually uh you know, Sway Sway is a is a purist. He a rap purist, man. Uh, he done seen it all. He done interviewed everybody, he done he done been around the biggest names in the game. So you know, even though I was rapping for him and I was nice, I wanted to make sure my resume made sense for me to go on his platform and and to represent for the state. Yeah, not just this is a good rapping ass nigga. This is a good rapping ass nigga that done worked his way up to be able to have a conversation with me and and, and display his skill set on my platform. So yeah. that's really what it was all about. I could have went on sway. You know, yeah, a bunch of years ago, but let me make it make sense. Big yeah, you, and you and you did that. I I, I really like I said, I love Sway Sway show and cool love thing. love the uh, the whole you know the way he 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 holds it down for the culture. Yeah, yeah, he so loves that's it, real. And he and and he and he's uh to me um, one of those guys. I put him on a pedestal when it come down to. To, to lyrics and and really recognizing yeah. the craft. Yeah, and he loved it. He yeah, really loved it. And he'll craft. tell you if you suck. Yeah, yeah. He don't mind. Yeah, yeah. No, he don't <laughs> mind at all. Don't come up here with that bullshit, man. I'm gonna tell you, but it's the first thing he say right before you rap. So you already got that in your head. Yeah. If you you know if you not up for the occasion, you already got man. It's sway, and he's saying if you suck, I'm gonna tell you. So if you ain't ready to you know snap when them lights on, it, 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 it could be tough, man. Man, it could be real it could tough. Be tough man. Man. I was ready for it. So, what's the first project you put together? So, the first project I put together was called "I Got the Juice." Um, really? Yeah, based off the movie Juice. And um, how long ago was this? And how old were you when you really started taking it serious? Man. When I started taking music serious, I probably was about twenty-two. Okay, and, and, so, and so this this project I made when I was about twenty-five. Okay, so my okay. first project. So that's that. It lets you know from the time yeah. I decided to rap for mm-hmm. it how long. But I always been an observer and a studier. So I used to be in a rap group. Uh, back home, and um, we had these these Waco ciphers. Yeah, I had the ciphers, so the whole city would tune into these ciphers, and I kill every cipher. And I just felt like I wasn't getting the respect I deserved. And so one day I was sitting in my sister's house, and Juice came on the TV. I seen it a million times, but for some reason that day I was just like, man, I'm finna kill all these niggas, just like Tupac, my friends included. Love it. So I made a mixtape, 17 tracks, just me, just displaying lyricism, but just going at everybody. Wow! Mm-hmm. Everybody, whole city. Anybody did it, got did it, did it. friends too? How was how was it received? <laughs> <laughs> Niggas was mad. Yeah, they was, but what can you do about it? Because you can't rap me at this point. Like I didn't, I didn't. Got Nobody to didn't like. Okay, I'm gonna beef with you and lyrically beef with you because of it. No, no that would be dumb. Want it was. It, so what I did was um, the movie kind of played like a soundtrack. So I would take clips from the movie, and the clips would relate to whatever the song I was making. And then I was just being super lyrical on top of that. So I was doing a lot of stuff at one time, and, and people were so ready to hear a project from me. The, the people that didn't know what I was doing just loved to hear the raps. But, the, you know, the rappers, they was like, man, fuck him. Did you have visual for that? You didn't do a video? Nah, I, didn't do, I did maybe one, but I didn't do too many visuals. You produced it yourself? Nah, it was, so I, I took instrument, like It was like a mixtape. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so I had like a couple um, a couple regular instrumentals that, that, that I got from producers, but re- the rest of it was instrumental. Ain't nobody else this? No, they won't fuck they come back Out of all right of them now. that you did, all of, out of all those 17, give me the hardest verse out of all of that right now. Uh, Bishop's outro. Uh, they say being lyrical don't make a good rapper. And just because you rap good don't make you lyrical. Said that I'd be a beast if I ever give them both. But they don't feel me, though. I just need you to see my thought process. You simply be amazed at the levels that my mind catch. I'm anti I'm anti weed, so getting high there's no need hurt your head trying to think like me. I'm blunt force trauma with no blunt object. See what I mean? Damn. Damn, that shit, that shit go back, man. That shit, that shit go back. That shit go back. This is a long time ago. a long time ago, man. And I think it was probably your style changed so much. Oh, hell yeah, hell yeah. His yeah, style yeah. was so How different back then. How have your style changed from I mean, then till now? See, back then when I was rapping, it was I was solely focused on trying to impress people with the wordplay and the lyricism. Whereas now I've toned it down, it's still lyrical, but I'm kind of just having a conversation with you on top of a beat. Mm. So I'm speaking more from personal experiences now. It's still, you know, I, I dress it up with the lyricism, but I'm really just talking to you now. Yeah. Wow. So if you guys me like rap the, something now, I could do it. Like, and <laughs> yeah, I, like yeah, yeah. I like the wordplay. Um, when I think about wordplay, who is it that does that a lot? Um, 
Would you say Jay Z do that? Oh yeah, Jay Z do that a ton. Yeah, I was about to say Jay-Z that's Drake, what I think all about. There, like, like kind of just right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I um, it, who, what? It, explain to me what the 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 deals were that you had gotten because I heard Sway speak on a couple of them. Just some of the things that some of your accolades that that really happened and how did they happen? You know, some of these. I think it was uh, I want to say H. It was I mean, a game. Lot, it was a game. It, it was a game. Uh, you yeah, I, run, I run through them. So um, after I dropped, I got the juice. Um, I, you know, like I said, I'm always studying and observing. I like how do I monetize this? Because you know, I, it, we can't make just, some money. Yeah, we not we can't just sell CDs on the street no more. It's, we changing into the streaming era. How do I monetize making this music? And um, you know, I got my manager shout out to Justin and, and proper partner uh, our label. And um, you know, we we was grinding and trying to figure it out. We decided to go the licensing and sync route. So we licensed music for television shows, video games, and, and movies. And um, you know, we met some guys uh, from California that that that's their business. And so um, we linked together, and, and I made songs. So I've been on the uh, UFC, uh, Fox. I've been on MTV, uh, Marvel, a Marvel TV show. I've been on HBO, Ballers. Uh, Mortal Kombat 11 uh, it was me, 21 Savage, and Ice Cube. Wow, that was the biggest That's one. That's big. Yeah, uh, Pro Evolution Soccer, uh, Need for Speed. I mean, it's just, I'm, I'm 17 hey, places. You deep blessed, man. You yeah, blessed. So, That's how we even, yeah. Money. Yeah. so they know you in that in, in the industry. For yeah, them. we took a different route just to you know monetize that. And now, I can, is that better than just like how when I see regular and I'm not going to say artists? regular but artists um, trying to get just, streams, just streams on regular on you know just. On the regular better. platform, so, which one is better? Because I haven't heard a lot of people do it that way. Like I said, so I took like you know, bet- in between projects. So I put the I got the juice out in 2014, and then I put my album Color Me Dope out in 2021. And so in between that that seven year span, I kind of just studied the business and see how things worked. And we decided that was the best way to kind of get in the industry to monetize without. You know, I come from Waco. We don't have no big market there. Right. Not a whole lot of artists coming through there. No huge, humongous shows. It's not like Dallas where they got to come through here. That's on their press run. Nobody have to come through Waco. It's a small town mm-hmm. in between Austin and Dallas. So how do we get uh, global recognition uh, without the resources that a major city has? And that was the way to get my foot in the industry. Wow. Mm. I like it. I think it's dope. I think it's smart. I think it's very intelligent for you. You ever thought to... about moving? Oh, I, I moved. I moved. I, I yeah, migrated yeah, over yeah, here. <laughs> Uh, well, you uh, read Waco so, still, yeah. though. Oh, yeah, that's that's Brittany Lowe. No, we go take the originator. Check it, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. My guy's here, man. Timo in the building, man. Stop playing. Yeah, yeah. Timo, best lyricist in Texas, please believe it. Uh, for sure, for sure. Uh, uh. About to talk one on one. Two words. Ah. Uh. A bit brief for a second. <clears throat> yeah. Look, two words, goat man. That's just what them folks saying. Clown, all you monkey ass niggas like I'm Roseanne. I should change my last name to Ball Worth or Roseanne. Came on this bitch eating like the intro to Ro- Fuck it. I heard niggas was after hours, left them open after. You niggas had the soul to do it, it was floating after. Can't see me, boy, I'm too on point, just like a cloak and dagger. I ain't just saying that because my song on cloak and dagger. You think them niggas popping because they entertain them rappers? I make a rap that makes some racks, I let the fame come after. I never finished college, but I still obtain my masters. I click it fast, this shit Jurassic. I could tame a raptor Can't have no safety on the handgun Nigga, where I'm from The north side Where we man up quicker Make breaking rules look good I'm an N1 nigga Before I learned to stand up I was a stand up nigga I'm glad you actually noticed That ball for ball I'm the coldest in Texas Not just my city And really I took it global Potential to make a million People switching their motives Move from the hood And still gotta watch For the rats and roaches Look, two words Most bars Separate me so far Not into designer But my travel luggage Go yard Hot sex with with your bra at the whole noise, but how you thinking? She always in debt with the maker, how she oh God. Saw it all shoddy I got from the flea market. I call that bitch Lonzo Ball to release awkward. Ooh. I sold that bitch to my little shooter for cheap, partner. Ow. His cold name <laughs> Roman Candles, he keeps sparking. Cuz I won't stop whipping his wrist cuz he keeps shining. Ah. He pull a workout hard, the coat got a beach body. body. What I do with these bars kinda similar in nature. I'm just describing dope nigga behavior. Gotta 
gotta pay attention. Mm, uh, can't yeah. let you serpent see the inner workings. I fuck with nobody like having sex with the thinnest person. Your mama said don't touch the stove. You didn't. Now you're hurting. I ain't learned that lesson. Cause right to this day I grip the burner. Could turn the most popular nigga to a missing persons. Was born around them animals. It's like a Christmas sermon. Could turn the most popular nigga to a missing persons. Was born around them animals. Just like a Christmas sermon. Got songs on TV. Spit for sway. How could you call me local? Video game. Underground champ. How could you call me local? Nigga really make racks from rap. How could you call me local? Yeah. Globally, my name good, fellas. That's worth the Ray Liotta. Came from the mud, but no biggie. The sky's the limit. You better fix your grill like a dentist. I've been a menace. Ooh. It only hold 30. I'm trying to put 50 in it. Damn. The clip look like Mexican stuffed in a Honda Civic. Ooh. I got the cheese. I got the chips. I feel like Chester Ow. Cheetah. Producers think my shit a gimmick. They must got a fever. Got it. Give you a split sheet. Better sign it. That shit like a prenup. Could probably kick your feet up if I beat your beat up. Ooh. These are the sounds of separation. That means I don't need you. Heavy's the head that wears the crown. I'd rather that than leeches. Ah. These goofies flexing. Gotta watch for the slaters and screeches. Sheesh. See how amazing my speech is? You gotta pay for these speeches. Man. I need to, I'm gonna give respect if they don't give me nothing. Empty stomach. Probably eat these rappers. Then I handy flush it. Handy flush it. After eating rappers from an empty stomach. You ain't peep the function. Did it backwards like I'm Benji Button. Ooh. Niggas think I diss them in my rhymes. What like a he rich did assumption. something backwards like he Benji Button. Niggas think I diss them in my rhymes. What a rich assumption. Busy with my movement. That be y'all to keep me in discussion. Money phone and all of them pics. You flashing hundreds to them gangsters make you come off them racks like you titty fucking boss. Oh, Damn, no. No. Stop playing, man. Eee. Stop playing, man. t mo man. You beast mode, man. T-Mo. Stop playing, on, man. Damn, right Damn man. You, man. Damn. Say, man. Like. Yeah. <laughs> he like that guy to do his verse. He, he like, yeah, I want you to go on this track. And they do their verse. He's like, hold on, let me go back and do my <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Hold on. I for mean, real. Man, it's like, Fire. It's like you know, you, you know, know, they wouldn't expect to hear that coming from somebody nah, from the man. South like that bro how many you know people like man where you from man all the time like you know if you hear me talk you hear my southern draw but man i'm I'm, I'm from that long wire era, so like I grew he up. He from where they was, gotta have that gun without the safety yeah, you know what on. Yeah, yeah. I'm trying to stay on the North side. North side, with my way to Texas. No, yeah. I mean, I like you know we ain't had no hot nine sevens and none of that shit down here. So like you know, I was pirate in music, listening to like the Jada Kiss and the Jada gotcha. Kiss. Gotcha, man, shit. Jada Kiss. And I just fell in he love. He on with that, that wall, right? That's my nigga. boy, yeah. man. Yeah. Like I find that alive. No, one hundred percent. So that's how I got. Ain't touch with all that music, and, you know. That's live, man, man. Like, like Dang. bar for bar, you best best lyricist in Texas, believe me. You gotta definitely. You said earlier you had to. Um, you said you had to um, turn it down, tone it down. Yeah, you didn't tone it down. Do you feel like toning down is dumbing it down? You nah, to, see, there's a difference between dumbing. Because I, I, I heard your words how you chose that. You didn't say dumb it down. Yeah. Cause I feel like our listeners and music today, like you almost can't say nothing too far from the vocabulary because they yeah. won't follow you. See, I used yeah. to do all that super... If you got more than that, yeah, you could... You, if you yeah, can, if yeah. it gets deeper nah, than it, that... It, it go crazy. I it can't, go crazy. yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, I, I could do that, but I, I guess just as I've grown and experienced more things, mm -hmm. it's kind of as, as the man I am now, I just want to talk to you. Like, I'd rather talk to you on a beat than mm -hmm. be super... Anybody ever just rap. come up at you and like, man, I want to rap against you, bro. I want to go in. Yeah. And, and, and where was yeah. this at? It was in New York. I mean, it wasn't that they just walked up to me. I had a, uh, it's called World MC. So mm. it, was, it was a tournament in New York City. 64 MCs. How did you from, feel when you when you got to that thing, man? Shit, I mean, like, for the kid, you know, it was, it was 64 MC from around the world. So it wasn't just the United States. Was, well, who won? You know, me. Come on now, ooh, undefeated. Ooh, 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 ooh. Name somebody right wow. now. I'm running. Uh -oh, I'm uh -oh, running. Run it, run it. Run it. Run it. Bring it low so both talk so. style. Listen, my Tell boy Timo, anybody out there that think they Call got better boss bars, one -on -one. come here. Boss Talk 101, we ha we going to have you. Say that. And we gonna we gonna match it up. Say that. And we I got my money on T Mo. <laughs> she going home I put rich. my money Bring on him. So in the building, I man. I got my money man. on him. So if you think you better, slide on up and pull up with whoever you need to pull up with to do what you got to do. Because the boy dropping bars. Come on. Man, hold that up. Way. Period. So if anybody hey, y'all want to uh, get at Brittany Loso uh, uh, <laughs> on our Instagram, mm -hmm. DM her and and tell her you ready to go against yeah. T Mo and and she'll set that up for you right here on I'm Boss Talk. Don't lose, don't lose your rent money, man. Don't lose your rent money, man. Keep that shit. Yeah, we gonna put a bag up too, hey, nigga. And he go hard on anybody. Beat. They can keep their feet up. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, we gonna, we 
we gonna let our audience judge? Beat up. Who gonna judge? No, no, no. Texas. The audience, Texas. <laughs> yeah, our audience. Man, it's, it's a well known fact, man. I have when it comes to that ball for ball shit, I really do that. I, I, I really. Like you could have seen when he got into it, he's like, ugh, he started. Oh, he go in, man. I'm, he started I'm to turn the switch. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. he was like, ugh, da, 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 uh, da, blah, blah, blah. Uh, he yeah, started to. to, to, to oh, okay. That transforms X Men shit. Okay, 100%. cool. I like that. Okay, that's what's up. Man, you know what, man? I I enjoyed the hell out of it, man. I appreciate. I'm gonna give me another. So one when is like your next project? Are you working on something right now? Yeah, I'm, I mean, actually, uh, shout out to my brother Darian Kyle. We just got signed to Universal. Okay, uh, okay. for real. Major that's level, big. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. yeah. Sound of Universal and John Bellion, uh, he on my label. How long home, ago? So. This was like a month ago. So. Okay, so but why Universal? Because I guarantee you, you've had so many other people reach out to you. Yeah, I had a couple offers. That that was me, per. But this is like his his deal, and that's where he wanted to go. So okay, you know, just mm, as being his okay. label mate, I support that and whatever he need from me. So he, he that's a lot. Right. Just some writing for some major artists. Yeah. So yeah. so to get you on a like to get you on a, a song, somebody like to get you like a feature, what they need to do. Uh, DM my manager Justin Anderson okay. at Gmail or uh, Julian Valencia at Gmail. Yeah. All right, y'all can DM me too. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, she managing. Y'all, y'all just want to meet up on the street on some gangster shit, yeah. then on some rap shit. We should DM yeah, up. Yeah, exactly. You call me, we, we get it popping. <laughs> we gonna yeah. rock awesome, out. you know. I mean, I'm gonna make sure it happened. We're going back in, y'all. Boss Talk 101 style, man. Yeah, everybody go down, man. Let's go, man. T more in the building. Go Timo, go Timo, go Timo. <laughs> I love her. <laughs> Let's go. Young nigga, move that dope. I ain't talking crack for sale, I'm talking rest for sale. Hit me, looking through that scope. I put cheese on your head like a Packers helmet. Back, back, I'm hell bent. Whack raps get dealt with. Then it serves somebody, please ring the cattle bell. Maybe boys wanna rap with Melvin, but they mind know this degenerates like a strap on Ellen. Fuck all these niggas. Flow fancy like a pinky on a tea sipper. Buying video views. These niggas. Page full of fake plays like a flea flicker. <laughs> See, nigga, E told me to do it. Blame him, I'm sorry. Never mind, fuck being nice, bitch, you sorry. <laughs> Could've wrote this song for Sierra. You still won't get booked to perform in nobody party. Young nigga moved that dope and I just sent a deal in. You ain't even know Snow Bunny in my crib, no Hugh Hef, though. Unidentified fly like a UFO. Boys in the street saying you next, bro. Tupac in his prime, just a new death row. Trying mm. to feed them a dog like a few pet toes. Niggas gonna hate the day that they ever met Mo. Man, no wow. love, man. We just having a good time. Man, I got the best lyricists in Texas. Uh, uh, if you niggas gonna step up, this nigga is here, man. He, he acapella, whatever y'all want to do. do. Man, we yeah. going all kind of ways a day, man. Yeah, he do. gonna drop it however you want it. Hey, we looking for all comers. Just come <laughs> on and uh, let us know what you got. He said it. Did you? You you really state this on YouTube and everywhere. First thing they call you is what? Best lyricists in Texas. The best lyricists in where? In Texas. In Texas, Second man. Second state in America. Stop Have playing. anybody ever, like, Texas, any of these iconic like, guys been they, like, you they, the man? Like, they all. They won't every even last try. One of them. Like who? Every last like one Like who? Of them. Every last one of them. Bun B? Every last one of them. Woo-hoo-hoo-hoo. They don't Pow argue. Wow. Every last one of them. <laughs> all of them know. I got Charlie Bone on my album. Charlie Bone on your album. Come on, man. Like, we really. You do this. It's me. I want to say, I want to ask, before you. Who would you say would have been the best lyricist in Texas? Uh, the reason I started writing music, Chameleon. Ah, I love Chameleon. I love Chameleon. Yeah, yeah. 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 It was, well, it was yeah, my favorite yeah. rapper. So, That's why I started so writing my own. That was before you. Yeah. So now, since you've done doing what you're doing and perfected your craft in a versus, not a versus, but between you and him, who you say was the best to do it in Texas Ab- right abs- now? Absolute, hands down. Most respect to the OG. Thank you for inspiring <laughs> That's me. real. I love everything you did, giving me that light, but can't nobody fuck with me bar for bar ever. In life. No, no, it's it. Not me. even him From now. I want to see you do something with my boy Toby, the wig we. I fuck with Toby. Yeah. Like, we got mutual friends. Yeah. I, you want the best lyricist in Texas? Don't take Toby the, in the wig way. That brother asked for, that brother rapped for a higher purpose and not comprende. He got yeah. wig in his last name, but I'm the GOAT because with this rapping, <laughs> I lost my wig a long time ago. Like, he, <laughs> I respect him, but you know. Wow. <laughs> man, give me some acapella. Let's go, man. Oh, oh my God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let him go. Let him go. Bring it. Stop it. Stop it. Bring it. Stop it. Stop it. Back. Let, 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 let him go. Let him go. Space. I'll wrap that one. Uh, Let's go. Lines on top of lines when you're dealing with Timo, because that's just what it equal. I came out the gate punching and I ain't even mean to. This masterpiece Bob Ross couldn't paint with his easel. When you a goat, not a shepherd could lead you. That's why the only thing sheepish on a nigga is his grin. 
whenever my notepad meet the pen and then from the pad to the booth, from the booth to your ear hole, take that entire process, I turn that to De Niro. Still got the juice and I get it off like Robert Shapiro. Sorry, youngsters, I'm just showing my age. Crack era 88. That's the year I was raised where them niggas was tossing blow like how you throw a grenade. Shouty hit me on the chirp and told me meet her at the door. Whisper to me while I'm stroking, saying, Daddy, you the goat. I probably ain't the best you fuck, but I'm the best nigga you know, and that's more play if you ask Lil Timo. <laughs> Hate is bad, but fake friends is the worst. Swear to God, that shit left me dead inside like a hearse. But middle fingers to everybody that don't like me. Dead stock Jordan 11's my soul icy. Gucci Mane first hit single is so icy. Ice box where my heart is is so icy. No love found, no love lost, but I don't fuck with you because your love costs, motherfucker. Best lyricist in Texas. Don't tag Toby New Wigway. That brother rap for a higher purpose and not comprende. See, he got wig in his last name, but I'm the GOAT. Because with this rapping, I lost my wig a long time ago. Swear these niggas act like it's freaking easy to get your songs played on TV and movies. They use it. I get a check and I'm eating greedy. Yeah, bitch, from my city, I'm the GOAT and I screaming freely. You know it. Don't be on the fence about it like Mr. Feeney. I know you hate to love it and I love how you hate. I need it. Remember how you lied. My memory like a posture Remember how you lied. My memory like a oh my Jesus. These bars, I got a Shuttlesworth. You got game. I know you seen it. Niggas oh, screaming the best, but goodness. they on the bleachers. You must got corona thinking you could outflow these speeches. Glory be to God. Ring his blessings down on the people and watch away y'all is evil. Man. Oh man! Check it, man. Where That's that boy T Mo, man. Stop playing, man. What are you doing? Yeah, like hey, where what you be this? reading? What you watching? <laughs> <man? laughs> nah, that's, that's, that's what I do. It's my daily regimen, man. Watch a lot of movies, drink Hennessy, pace around the room, and just you know, yeah, be creative. got Snow Bunny yeah. and Crib, so and so I ain't the, talking who <laughs> Hefner. I know. The so creation yeah. just keep coming to you. Yeah, like I, I, I write every day, man. I'm always thinking about something. Any anything can be turned into a long. Okay, man. write me some. Man, I can go and chew them. Have you wrote something for your daughter yet? Nah, she, Mia don't like rap. She, she, she in the she a princess. Yeah, she nails and 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 all that. You know? I told a couple of guys you was coming on here today. Shout out to Trill Talk, No Pill Talk. Mm -hmm. Oh hell yeah, Trill Talk, hell No yeah. Pill Talk. Said man, tell that nigga to come on with it. One hundred percent. Tell him come on with it. Yeah. If he the yes, hardest real lyricist in Texas, tell him to come on with it. He on Boss Talk. He got to come on with it. Man, that nigga it, came man. on with it. Trill Talk, No Pill Talk. I heard a that lot nigga came of rappers. I've heard a lot of rappers. I've I've. And I don't lie. No, that's like, I, this, this is I my know. good. This is this the best one you. This is had. my good trait and my bad trait, for better or worse, with me. Nah, I'm gonna tell the truth. So don't nah. ask me nothing you want the truth to. But dude, Timo really got them bars. Straight up. Like I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna cap to you. Man, I, I work real hard. I ain't gonna yeah. lie. I you could tell him to go cry. right now. He'll go again I'm a whole go. different way. Yeah, like I believe you. I believe you. <laughs> I, said, I believe you. Like, but like, but you know, bars don't always translate into. Absolutely. Fame into Absolutely. money into everything else, right? So. What would be the next move? Because you got it if you want to go there. Come on, we want to talk. Like nobody's going hit. No, no, nah, absolutely see, not. That's that's why I started putting the shit on. You know, do, I can I can make extra songs. That. So yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. That's how we monetize it now. You know, I write. I write real songs. It's just as good as I rap. I can make songs too. So okay, that's not top three artists of all time, dead or alive. Number any one, genre. any genre. Man, I listen to some. I don't care any, any genre. Any genre. Number one, <laughs> we got three. Only three. Number one, I put Mike Mike Jackson. See that okay. Mike Jackson. Number two, I agree. Number two, of all time, any genre, any yeah. genre. Shit. Brittany, this my this is my segment. This is the top three. I, I got you. I'm. You see, I'm just. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just waiting for me some time to think no, about it. No, everybody do does it. Everybody who comes on our show do it. Thousands of people. Yeah. 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 And of you music. said you watch our show. You should know that this I was do, coming. But like, God, Number two. Damn. Uh, you literally started out with the guy who's allegedly. I mean, you can't even. Kids. You can't even. Wow. I mean, that's a legend. We, we, that's a legend. Y'all gotta go Netflix. That has nothing to do with his music. That has nothing to do with his music. That's true. I mean, as far as biggest artist ever, yeah, you got Michael Jackson. Uh, really? I can't put Mike in the top after I seen that. After I seen that, that, that this last oh, this one. This is the one. Al D gonna love her. Oh my God. After this now last I got, one, I gotta take him out the top. I got, I'm sorry. I got Mike, I got Sinatra. Okay. Oh, okay, I love Sinatra. I love Sinatra. I do. Oh, I love Sinatra. Oh, Thanks, Sinatra. Man, you, you can't, you can't That's what I know Sinatra I'm rich. Uh, Number three. Oh, that's crazy, man. I gotta put a woman in there. Uh, a black woman, cause you got two nah, we people. Go, we gonna go Shade. 
Shout out. Okay. That's heavy. I can see that. Well, shout out. If you really. me. <laughs> If I tell you, if I tell you no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, that was my mama clean up music. Yeah, we, we gonna go on there. Saturday, you better oh, get about that bag because she's working on the living room right now. Oh, <laughs> By the time you get to the sweetest sabu, you better be about that bag. Nah, that's my shit. That's, what, I listen to more of that. Um, what um I mean, like like is there any kids out there coming up, anybody coming up that you see the special, that man, rap that's lyrical, you know, and you like they got potential. Man, Waco got a lot of them. I mean that's just, I, that's what Gio was saying. Me. Shout out to Gio out. too. To if it hadn't been Gio, for Gio, I would not know who the hell T Mo was. Thank you, my nigga. Gio is the one that put me on point. I was going through titling. Go back and look at the title. Yeah. It says T Mo, but I'm like, damn, I don't even know who this nigga is, but yeah. this nigga mentioned him. Yeah. Let me go find him. And as yeah. soon as I found him, he I came. say, I no, I text. I, I'm on the <laughs> <laughs> nigga where this nigga at this Not nigga sure. this is it I'm finna challenge every nigga outside of Texas see how I ain't do, worried about how, that how, nah, yeah, we yeah. how does how doesn't everybody in Texas know about you? I mean, it's kind of just the way I move. Like, I mean, I'm, I'm not gonna sit here and pretend like I'm not known. Like, I, know. I, I, got, I got a nice following just yeah. just the way I don't I'm not a peacock you know, contrary to popular belief back home. I'm, I'm, yeah, you're an owl. Yeah, I, I kind of just you know, if it's time to do that, let's do that. And I'm, I'm right on the money. Like I, I seize every opportunity, so I'm more known. He might I, be late, but he gonna be there. I'm gonna be there. I'm, I'm gonna show. Whoa! Gonna show up. <laughs> I was yeah. late. She, Mr. Jamaica, get on my ass. <laughs> I was late. Everybody that know me for real know I always be late. But now I'm, I got a, big, a bigger following, really outside of, of my city and, mm -hmm. and outside of the states. Like a lot of people know me in New York. A lot of people in Cali and Atlanta. But I mean. You, you, you know, when it's time to do that, I, I show up. Hey. I got to ask you about uh, your fellow uh, guy, uh, uh, my boy, high boy Wes, when he came on here. He mm -hmm. said that 100000 that ain't no money. <laughs> yeah. He say, uh, uh, nigga, nigga I, I spent, that'll be gone in a week. Oh, mm -hmm. thugging and drugging. And, and, and I just wanted to add, thugging and drugging. My mm -hmm. wife, she heard it. Yeah, it's my little brother. So, man, so tell me when he said that, what did you think? Yeah, he wasn't lying. I mean, but I, always, I was always cognizant of that, like, Back in like 2020, like right 2019, whatever year that was, Earl Spence fought Danny Garcia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got a big ass music check. I'm not even gonna say what it was. Okay. <laughs> I got a, I got a lump sum of money. Man, I took my peoples to the fight. We got a section, <laughs> club. That's expensive Thank seats you know, too. I'm, I'm buying seven, eight bottles. I got a room at the W damn. Like, oh, you, you know, you I'm out in that room quick twice a day. Like, you, you, like, you know, and then I looked up. At the end of that month, like so, that was in December. That's one so month. At the end of that month, I, I probably spent like almost up with uh, north of twenty bands. Damn, like, you just spending, in that month though. Just spending money, and that was that month. Like just spending, and I had nothing to show for it. So, and didn't yeah. even buy me a wig. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like, so if you go on pace, like by the time spring break would have run around, I'd have, I'd have spent a hundred bands if you would have kept doing that. Like, Damn, it's not, it's not no money. Damn. Damn. Damn, y'all, y'all boys be y'all be getting Sheesh. that bread, man. You gotta think about it because you, you know you, you giving you giving that type of money to a nigga that ain't ever had shit. That's like, right, no real yeah. money. Mm -hmm. So you know you gotta get your people straight, then you gotta See. get your niggas straight, then you gotta get yourself straight. Like cards, you know your vices, whatever that is, lawyer fees, child support. If you got this, shit I, I'm, I'm literally the complete opposite. You give me a lump sum money, I am saving every dime, mm -hmm. and I am. I'm like if I, you know, I'm like I don't know. When a rainy day may come, you know what I'm saying. Like that, I just that's true. That's why we you gotta always be in the position. Oh, okay. But y'all heard it, so make sure yeah. if any of y'all is touching a large lump sums of money, come see me because I will make sure you gonna, that you, gonna, you, you have that shit, it. Say? Yes. Yeah, like you turn that dollar to uh, ten. You give a nigga that type of money and never had shit. They gonna blow. They gonna blow it. Mm -hmm. And then you ain't got no. And I know that to be yeah. true because I had. I used to have eighty, hundred thousand dollars, and I didn't. My partner say, man, you know, you don't went through. Seventy thousand. I can watch it. Hold on, partner. Yeah, but he, the funny thing is, no, no, he how needed you, to be watching because yeah, we were, we, we, yeah. oh, okay. we was together, okay. and he was like, "Nigga, you be running through it," and I be like, "I didn't even care. I'm buying cars. I'm buying. Man, I'm not buying houses. I'm mm -hmm. buying all type of stuff. I'm I buying all shit. type of stuff in Dallas, in Treeport, in he, wherever mm -hmm. I could go. I'm just kicking it, it. and I'm nineteen. Time. It take that first time to get out of your system. Some people take longer. Yeah, next time I get this, I'm gonna chill. Yeah, but the thing that years and I wasn't trying to chill. I was trying to show the world that you, you could change this whole <laughs> world. But the thing I heard that you said was, you know, I'm going I'm making sure that everybody was straight. But with you making sure that everybody was straight, that's taking them to the fight, taking them to, you know, getting this big 
hotel room and doing all that once that's gone there's nothing to show for it just like what you said it's yeah. not like making sure you're straight let me buy you this car yeah. you'll have this car that if anything well, happened you'll well, be able to sell it something I learned you know just growing up and, and learning the people that you are making straight don't necessarily need you to make them straight true you know so now that I know that next time some crazy money come alright let me get mama and daughter straight and then let me handle my business mm -hmm. to, to make sure this money duplicate or, most no, double, but see, yeah, everybody yeah, yeah. is different because one thing we, we've always said, I always said, like, if I ever win a lottery, ain't nobody going to know I'll have it. I ain't saying that. Mm. But no, no, this is the conversation. Sir. No, 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 no. This is what we I'm saying. Oh. Hold on. This is the conversation that we have because just exactly what he said, he's like that. But I'm me, I'm turning all the way You want nobody to know. Say, Timo. No. Woo! Jamaica, you win the lottery. And you go on there with a mag, I'm like, that's Jamaica. No. Let me I'm tell like, you I'm something. Like, I know that walk I'm in going, when no, I'm no, a no, 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 no. I'm the type of person will put on about five different outfits, like, packed on. You would, you won't know it's me. Uh -huh. I'm going to walk on there like a dude. So you know, oh, okay. With, with the lottery, okay. You won't know it's me. You can pay to be anonymous. Like, if you win, yeah, you, don't you don't have to know. How much right. it costs? Almost, like, half your money. You swear well, no, 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 I ain't going to do all that part. Yeah, you got to pay I did not know that. Yeah, you got to pay. They want to know. They don't have to worry about me. Give me the biggest check you can See, okay, have your you money the, to when know. When you get the money, me. right? You got the money. They, they say, don't nobody know. They gonna notice your lifestyle change. My lifestyle is not gonna change for the beginning. I'm driving a helicopter right out there. No, he right is. Right there, you he know is. the gold helicopter. I know how he is. That's him. And when I drop it, I'm gonna come out with a gold it's pseudo. Totally different. I'm saying y'all going into the bank. <laughs> And then oh, I will make okay. sure, like, my kids have a trust nah, fund nah, put up nah. to them. Do you we know don't take care of kids. We totally yeah. different. See how they are. Nah, we're not doing that. I believe them, and I believe her. No, no, I'm we not doing that. But, but, but Jamaica, your whole, your whole she move. She lying, dog. She with me. Listen. <laughs> we coming right. out hard. <laughs> your whole. We coming out hard, nigga. Versace drama. Your whole. This is a rich person problem. For sure. But let me tell you. But listen. Your whole strategy is going to be thrown out of the, thrown to the track of him. No, 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 no. I'm coming out with No, this is in relationship. This is how it end up. Let me tell you how you work. This is Ozark. This is Ozark. No, he's he a brother. He's a brother. Shades. I'm coming out. I'm coming out. Let you me know, tell you the relationship. Right here. This is what you do in yeah, relationships. Yeah, yeah. Any nigga that wear these shades, they gonna Hold come on, out hard. They coming out hard. They they coming out like Stevie Wonder. Just you know, just you I'm all over the place. You know what I'm saying? Let me tell you. Them hard. Let me tell you. In relationships, to save your relationship, this is what you do. You split. So he can do whatever he want to do with his house. See, well, it's gonna be I'm easy. I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do with mine. Yeah. Yeah. They're gonna think I signed some crazy endorsement deal. Maybe you back in the streets, see? Oh, yeah, I don't care. I'm coming. It's crazy. Hey, man, thank you for coming on the show. Let me shut this thing down. Thank you for having me. Man, listen, man, you coming back, right? Man, whenever you ask. Every other week. Come on. Come on. I still got a couple of months. We down here, man. We could have killed him. Yeah, we got some big shit. I got some people in Louisiana say they better than you, but. What? Tell them niggas I say call. I'm mean, welcome all competition. I don't tell them niggas to call me. Get in my inbox, nigga. Y'all can't. I rap. If you out rap this nigga, I'm gonna let your own boss talk. But you got to send me something uh, in my inbox to say as you can. I rap this nigga. Ooh, it better yeah, be hard. Ain't, bar ain't for bar. The street, it gotta so be hard. Is. Then I gotta get it approved. And, and you, you know, so it gotta than, uh, be hard. So you Ellie. gotta bring your hardest, Ellie. hardest lyrics. Strap on. Man, oh, thank man. you so much, Timo. Man, I you, believe brother. you, bro. You man. made me out of believer, thank man. You, man. That's thank all you so all much, I man. Do. I don't mind you made me proof. out of believer, yeah. man. Yeah. And uh, I appreciate you, Brittany. Man, rich people problems. You just made it to where this probably got to come out within a couple of days. You helped him out. He didn't even realize he's skipping lines around this open. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He line over line is how it come out. Oh, yeah. bar yeah. for bar. Look at that. You should be listening. <laughs> bar for bar. You should be listening. Check it, man. Hey, man. It's been another great segment of Boss Talk 101. What a boss's talk. Yeah. Yeah. It's a